Hi, I'm James with JNC Home Repair. Today I'm going to demonstrate on how to how to operate a multimeter. Okay, we have what we have here is a multimeter. Um, it's used for measuring different types of voltage. It's also used for measuring amps, and it's also used for measuring resistance or or ohms. Okay, basically you need to know the different signs. Uh, in case you have a wiring diagram of whatever you're you're trying to measure the voltage of or the amps or the resistance um, you can see that the sign for ohms is actually the omega sign it's uh, looks like a upside down horseshoe okay all those different settings right there are all used for measuring resistance diodes transistors uh, small circuit type stuff that's usually what you you know switches solenoids um, any any stuff like that. That's what you want to use. You want to use your different. You want to use your ohm settings, depending on how what the capacity of whatever you're measuring. Okay. The next thing on the multimeter is direct currents. Okay. You can see you've got 200 millivolts. You've got two volts, two 20 volts, 200 volts, and 600 volts. Okay. These are all direct currents. Okay. These are measured. Uh, you want to use these settings for measuring voltage. Uh, like if you're measuring voltage in your house, like uh, maybe a 24 volt circuit or a 12 volt circuit, basically anything that has a positive and a negative, okay? You don't want to try to use this circuit on anything like an electrical plug or electrical switch or anything like that. Um, it, it's, it's just not going to work, okay? Um, you want to use uh, direct currents for just basically positive and negative applications, something that has a positive and something that has a ground, okay? That's what the little symbol for is, the little solid line and the little dotted line, okay? The next setting on this meter is measuring an AC current, which is an alternating current, which is common in homes. That's what you're going to find in your plugs, in your switches. Uh, any voltage around the house uh, is going to be an, an alternating current, an AC current, okay? Um, depending on if you have, you know, most of your household stuff is 110 volts, okay, 120 volts. Um, so you want to keep your setting on a 200 volt so you can actually read uh, what you're doing up here on the screen. Um, if you're measuring something like for an AC, like a 220 current, you want to bump your setting up to 600 volts, okay. Um, this particular meter here also measures amps, okay. So what you will want to do, that you, this, this meter is only capable of measuring up to 10 amps. You would also have to switch your leads here. Um, this lead would actually have to go over here to the amps to be able to measure for amps. Okay. Um, most applications for this type of meter are usually done with, you know, most people are measuring voltage or, or, or resistance, you know, most of the time, but this, this particular meter is capable of measuring amps. It also will also measure um, a AA battery. This one has a setting for a 1.5 volt battery, which is common for any AA, AAA, C or D battery, and it'll also test a 9 volt battery. Okay, um, it's a pretty handy little tool, and um, if you have any more questions about this, you can reach me at jncharmrepair.com.